Today, we're diving deep into a crucial part of your car's transmission system, the flywheel and the flex plate. These two components may look similar, but they have key differences depending on whether your car is manual or automatic. Stick around to learn everything you need to know. First up, let's talk about the flywheel. Picture this, a heavy, circular metal plate bolted right to the output of your engine's crankshaft. Flywheel serves three essential purposes. Number one, it gives your clutch something to grab onto. That smooth, flat surface on the flywheel, that's where the clutch disc presses up against it, transferring power from the engine to the transmission. Without it, shifting gears would be a nightmare. Number two, it adds rotational inertia. Because it's so heavy, the flywheel keeps the engine spinning smoothly between power strokes. Think of it like a figure skater pulling in their arms to spin faster. The flywheel stores energy and keeps things consistent, even when the engine's power output isn't perfectly steady. And number three, it's got those gear teeth around the edge. When you turn the key, the starter motor engages those teeth to crank the engine and get it firing. Now let's talk about the flex plate. The flex plate's main gig is to connect the engine to the torque converter. If you're not familiar, the torque converter is basically the clutch of an automatic car. It transfers power from the engine to the transmission using fluid instead of friction. The flex plate bolts directly to the torque converter, making sure that power flows smoothly. And just like the flywheel, it's got those gear teeth around the outside. When you start your car, the starter motor hooks onto those teeth to crank the engine. Sound familiar? It should, because up to this point, the flywheel and flex plate seem pretty similar. But here's where things get interesting. The flex plate is designed to, well, flex. It's thinner and lighter than a flywheel because it needs to handle the changing rotational speeds of the torque converter without braking. It's less about storing energy and more about being a sturdy middleman between the engine and the transmission. All right, now that we've covered the basics, let's break down the key differences between these two. Because even though they're both round, toothed, and bolted to the crankshaft, they're not interchangeable. Here's what sets them apart. Difference number one, manual versus automatic. This one's simple. Flywheels are for manual transmissions. Flex plates are for automatics. If you got a stick shift, you've got a flywheel. If you're rocking an automatic, it's a flex plate. Easy enough. Difference number two, physical appearance. Take a look at these two side by side. The flywheel is thick, heavy, and built like a brick, perfect for that clutch to grip onto. The flex plate, it's thinner and lighter, designed to flex as the torque converter spins. The flywheel's got a big, smooth surface for friction, while the flex plate is more about connecting parts than grabbing anything. Difference number three, location and connection. Both are bolted to the crankshaft, but their partners are different. The flywheel works with the clutch and lives in that manual transmission setup. The flex plate bolts to the torque converter, a big, heavy component in automatics. It's a different vibe entirely. So, there you have it. If you like this deep dive, give it a thumbs up, share with your car buddies, and subscribe for more automotive breakdowns.